Hi everybody, this is Lolly. Again, we're at Creativation. We are at this uh, demo from QPix, so which I've never heard about, and I think this is fascinating. So we're going to listen to this presentation from Sarah, explaining what this is all about. Yeah, so the interesting thing is we know that we want to combine the digital world with physical, tactical, get away from the screen. So what we've created is an app that you use. We've done a special event for NAMTA so that um, this is a truncated version of what we have. Um, but what it is essentially is you can use augmented reality and artificial intelligence to use either artwork that we have, licensed artwork that you can choose from, or you can load your own pictures. And the app, what it does is, we don't need all this because we don't have enough time, but what the app does is it allows you to choose art or upload your photo, as I said, and then you will, it will then uh, project the image onto either this type of surface, a piece of paper, or what we're selling as greeting cards. So you can make really unique pieces of art and then send it or display it to other people. So, um, so you can send oh, it digitally, or so you can it's send like it physically. A yep. But mostly, with your what phone. you want to do is send it physically. So what you'll end up having is um, what you'll end up having. Hold on, we're going to go to the art gallery. We're going to choose what we want to draw. So in this let's instance, use, let's use the, which one would you like? Let's use the flower. The flowers. And you start the experience. And there's always 24-hour um, help. There are live and on-demand classes to help you walk through what you're doing. So, come on. It's giving you a lot of instruction, because it gives you the instruction. But so, you can see the image is projected onto this. And then you can zoom in, so if I want to start, if I'm not comfortable in the beginning, you know, going straight to it, I can start and I trace it. And then let's say I finished, I can go and move it over, it'll follow with you. And let's say I finished the whole thing, um, then wow. it comes with dual tip markers. So, so you if can, you zoomed into a different place, it would still be in the right place right, on the paper. Right, exactly. It would be oh, still okay. in the right place Her on the paper. Mark stays with it, isn't that cool? Yeah, so I can go heavy or I can go okay. light. And the other thing so about this... So whether you're zoomed in or out, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the paper is static, so oh, this okay. image just helps you. You can also use this to, to make the image more pronounced or less pronounced. So, oh, see your lines so you can okay. see your lines better and you can say, okay, okay, am I on the right track or do I need to go back? So it gives you a lot of... So it helps nice. the tracing. Anyway. It helps the tracing not only with just, you know, statically, but you, move, you interact with it and you are able to create. And then once you're finished, you can use the dual tip markers, um, you know, which have a fine point and a... Oh, well, this is the thicker side and a fine point and the instructor will give you um, help on if you want to blend colors if you want to do a certain style of art um, and then when you finish the whole thing it creates a time lapse so it shows you in like 19 seconds everything that you created that oh, you can share fun. within your community to kind of say hey look what I was doing today and then when you when you want you can if you're using the greeting card set specifically you take this and you can just place it inside, you know, so your art is already framed, you know, and you send a card to someone that is completely unique and beautiful and that you created from either, what a lot of people end up doing is you can see over here, they'll use their own personal photos to create and a really unique and draw over it. So you're drawing um, yourself. Yeah. Or let's say for Mother's Day, we get this, so this this has been um, on TV for a while, and what a lot of people do is it's amazing. They they want to you know show pictures, share pictures of their dogs. They want to take their dogs and they want to create a beautiful portrait. Or for Mother's Day or Father's Day, they want to take a portrait of the person to whom they want to send the card mm -hmm. and use that and just do a nice beautiful portrait. But then maybe make it pop art style or maybe make it watercolor. So it's oh, nobody okay. else. You can't buy it anywhere. Right. You're you're creating it on your own but it's not a huge endeavor so for even children they can do this because it's easy for them to trace the lines and create something that isn't like I hate to say it but like you know, super kitschy it's a beautiful actual piece of art so what when you are doing this and you're tracing back here you, you have this image like. but well, I guess my <laughs> question is um, is there a way to say your what you drew digitally 
without this superimposed over it? Is there a way? Like if you had your photo and you drew that. Yeah, so your photo would come up instead of the art. Right, that's what I'm saying. There's no way to actually save this digitally though, right? The, the, the drawing you did of your photo. Um, you, no, you just get the time lapse. It's not meant right. to be, it's meant to be a physical right. manifestation. It's meant yeah. to combine the, the sort of digital world that we live in and the photos where they live, but then give you the mindfulness and the sort of meditative aspect of art when you're creating something instead of just being share, 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 you know, digitally. Mm -hmm. So what we want is we really want somebody to physically get a get a little nice happy right. nail. Yeah, <laughs> you know, get, yeah. we like yeah. something, yeah. you know. Um, so I'm going to try this over here. Yeah. So I'll see where she is, okay. Well, that is, you know, you have to get used to looking at the screen, right? Right, and then you just have to trust and, and, and obviously... But if you, you were... You know what I mean? You could do some shading because you see where to go. Yeah. The more experienced you are with um, drawing itself, probably right. the faster you're going to understand this. But it is even different. as a beginner. You're getting a call. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I mean, um, yeah, that's the, that's the drama of trying to do demos in here without that. Because they said there's no Wi-Fi, and I was like, okay, so I'll have to use my hotspot. I, or you could download the app, and, but that would take a little bit of time. For you. But the nice, I mean, it's really, so they come, the, really cool. like I said, the set comes like that. So the person, like if you give it as a gift, or if you get it yourself, so you see, it comes with everything that you need. It's a little artist tool set. Sharpener, eraser, pencil. This is the uh, cards that you put them in in the envelopes. Yeah. And then you get the artist tape. To, 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 like I cut mine because we're going to maybe do a lot of demos, but it, but it has the artist tape that you can use in the digital age. And it comes with the markers. Oh, it comes with the markers too? Oh yeah, the, the dual tip oh, markers are included okay. in the set. Oh yeah, okay. so it's not oh, just that. Okay. Awesome. And the stand. So this device stand also comes oh. with the set. Oh, okay, that is cool. Oh. Yeah, so that stand, and, and that can work with an iPad, or that can work with a Samsung, it doesn't matter what kind of phone. So yeah, the okay. set gives you, like you open it, You're download the app. You have everything you, you need. have everything you need. Oh, yep. that's nice. And the thing is, the cool thing is, all the experiences, because we have a studio, and there are gonna be artists directing you know, live and out and in, you can do canvases, you can do eight by eight canvases, you can do anything as large as eight by eight. Um, and once you have the set and you've downloaded the app, then you can subscribe and have all of that every single day inspiration. Oh, so you could nice. essentially paint a picture yeah. with that, with the image, and you could be painting instead of drawing with your pencil. Right. You, I mean, it, it's just your comfort level. The pencil. I was just talking about, I was talking with another uh, art company last night uh, at the welcome uh, reception. And they were saying that there's a, a more of a push toward greeting cards now. So you're, you know, you're probably good to going in this direction. We're sending mail. We're realizing. We all want it, right? That's why you, when you were saying, you could, yeah, you could send it digitally, but we really want you to not do that. We really want you to just say. Well, the reason I wasn't something. thinking of sending it digitally. That the I, the drawing that we create, for instance, if I do a drawing of my photo, what I was thinking is, could I send that to a digital software to cut it out on vinyl? like to do a shirt or something. That's what I was wanting. Oh. That's why I wanted to know if we could save that digitally. I guess you could take a picture. I, we, it hasn't gotten to that point. Yeah. Just a screenshot or something yeah. that could be sent to the digital. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Thank